Alright, in bones here, and uh, I've been meaning to do this uh, review for a while. These are by far the most comfortable pants I own, and um, yeah, they're just, they're great. I can't say enough good stuff about them. So, these are the um, Tac Light Pros from 511, and um, they're made out of a ripstop material. If you don't know what that is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's little squares in here, which means if you get a little tear or something, it's only going to go to the edge of that little square, and um, then the fabric, it, it stops it because there's little threads woven in it. And um, that's what the old uh, desert uh, BDUs um, used to be made out of. I don't know if they still make it out of the same material. Uh, now they're on what multicam or ACUs or whatever they want to call it. But you can see I've had these for a while and I have um, little ones starting right here. But anyways, anyone who has ever worn Desert BDUs knows that they're not a super thick material, um, but you don't have to worry about them ripping. So that allows you to wear them in relatively hot weather and, and be fine. Um, Besides that, these are Teflon, um, they have a Teflon coating on them. I don't know how long that's going to last once you start washing them, but they say they're waterproof. Um, I, I don't know, I haven't worn them in the rain, so I can't really attest to that very much. Um, let's just start up here at the top. Um, starts with a, um, a, a snap and a button, and then a YKK zipper, so the zipper's definitely not gonna fail you um, and I haven't had any issues with them um, these belt loops are fairly big I wear a, a one and three quarters inch belt uh, every day and I've never had any issues with them uh, around the top here they actually have elastic and um, at first I thought this was gonna annoy the hell out of me but it turns out it's really not um, it's snug but it's not anything that's gonna um, really uh really bother you so um over here they do have this little metal ring um i usually when i go shooting um hook the keys to all the guns on there but um uh little feature um going around the back they actually have this cargo strap um what it's for i don't know when i'm going to put up targets and stuff i usually throw a hammer back there um and then there's belt loops um, spaced evenly and close together all the way uh, around this so you don't ever have to worry about your um, your pants sagging in certain areas because there's no fucking belt loops like Levi's or whatever. And all right, so we'll just start um, with the main pockets. These pockets are deep. Um, they're, they're, I don't know if you can tell, but I can fit my entire hand um, down in the pocket no problem. Uh, I like that feature um, just because I know my stuff's not falling out. Uh, also, as you can see, um, well, maybe you can't. Here you go. It's double layered right here. Um, that's so if you're running uh, a little cheapy uh, utility blade like this that has a, a belt clip that's kind of known for eating up your pants, um, it's reinforced there, so you don't have to worry about that. And that's on the front and the back pockets. The back pockets are also um, pretty deep, and um, uh, one other feature they have that I really like is that there's Velcro. So if you have your wallet back there or something, you don't have to worry about it coming out or, or anything. You, um, it's got just one more layer of protection to keep it in there. Um, going around, if we're going to the right leg first, you do have a pocket here, um, and it's pretty deep. Uh, I can fit my two fingers all the way down in there and I'm not at the bottom yet um, it does go extend all the way down to here uh, below that you uh, you have your cargo pocket on the side and um, the velcro on them is like it's it's not weak but it's not super strong either so it's not like I gotta um, I gotta you know I can open it with one hand is basically what I'm getting at I don't have to worry about, you know, having to reach down and hold my pants down as I, uh, you know, open, open up the Velcro. So, um, the, there's uh, a gusseted crotch here that gives you just a little bit more fabric. Um, 
that really helps out when you're say stepping up onto something and it's it's a big step uh and you don't have them bunching up anywhere uh so i like that and then over here uh on your uh left thigh you actually have another pocket for you know cell phone or whatever um with a velcro closure so uh i dig that um and it's also you know the it folds out so uh, just a little bit so that you can get um yeah do i have my phone in here um you can get stuff in there um and my phone will fit right down in there as you can see so um and i got a droid bionic so it's fairly big and um no issues there and then once again it's got the same cargo pocket uh as you turn it over um like i said these back pockets here they're super deep um and well not super deep but i can get my entire hand in there um so i've never had any issues with my wallet or anything like that and then once again um the way these are designed um they're just they're comfortable they're, they don't bind up anywhere really um and, and i have a lot of freedom of movement which you don't get in you know your everyday average pant where you're really trying to do dynamic movement so um the other thing is they have reinforced double um double layered knees but if you go up in there if i had the desire to turn these inside out um which i don't there's uh they didn't sew even though it's double layered they left one side open so you could actually slip knee pads in here if you wanted to um i probably wouldn't do it but uh if they line up perfectly for you uh go for it um so that's the basic features. Now, some of the cool things um, that 511 has done, they, they offer these in like eight different colors, which I think is awesome. Like uh, that just gives you so um, many more options. And these I've actually worn with, you know, like a nice t-shirt um, or whatever. And people don't necessarily, they don't scream tactical at people. So, um, they're a little bit more low key, but I still get all the functionality, so I dig that. Um, and there's one other thing I wanted to mention. Um, they're just a good lightweight pant, so um, they're comfortable. Uh, they're really easy to move around in. Um, the price has gone up since I bought this pair. Uh, I just looked on LAPoliceGear.com, and they're going for about 50 bucks. But if you buy them from there, you get a free belt. So, um, you might as well. Uh, the other thing is they come in a, a pretty wide array of, of um, sizes. So, um, you can even get them unhemmed, I think. Um, but you might have to order that straight from 511. But you can get them unhemmed. And then, so if you're one of those guys who has trouble finding pants that are the right length, uh, that'll work for you. And um, that's about it. Um, they're great pants. They've they've held up, um, you know, wonderfully. And um, they, yeah, I highly recommend them. I think, you know, if you go out and you could buy a pair of Levi's or something for fifty bucks, or you could buy these, you're going to be a lot happier with these. There's just so much more you can do in them. So um, there you go. Uh, these are the the Taclight uh, Pros from. 511 uh highly recommend them Let's see where they made uh i don't think they're made in the usa anymore which is kind of sad but you know whatever can't get everything um it's not saying sure it says it's somewhere where they're made um oh yeah Cambodia, awesome. Uh, the the quality control on them uh, is, is pretty good. So um, I haven't come across any issues where stitching was a problem or or um, anything like that. And I've kind of um, took them out and ran hard in them. So there you go. Uh, Five eleven. Think they're worth the money. All right. If you have any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I'm out.